Good evening and welcome back to another edition of Masterpiece Theater, where we ski the lines your instructor never told you about. I'm glad you could join us this evening as we delve into another classic line from the Shooting Gallery, a guide to steep skiing in the Wasatch Mountains. For this evening's first adventure, we'll be taking a trip down the no-fall zone of Jochetti's Ribbon, a steep, dangerous line perched high above the Alta ski area. Bring a spare pair of underwear, a very likely candidate for most outrageous inbound ski line in the U.S. and an excellent way to get to know some of the Alta Ski Patrol on a first name basis. Also known as the Ribbon, this is one of the highest bands of snow that traverses the Devil's Castle rock buttress several hundred feet above the apron. It's technically open any time Devil's Castle is open, but it's highly condition dependent. If there's ever a place not to fall, this is it. Won't you join me now for a trip down the Dresden face? A big, steep, Euro-style open slope, which is a bit of an anomaly for the Wasatch. Looking down from the top, the scene is reminiscent of the historic World War II firebombing of the city of Dresden. Complete devastation. A few small trees survive, but for the most part, it's obvious that this face flushes itself in a large and very regular way. Part of the perverse appeal of this line is that there is really nowhere to hide on it, and therefore you want to make sure that the conditions are absolutely welded. The line of choice takes you straight down from the cairn on the summit ridge, although this will bring you over two rock bands which may not be filled in. Luckily, this line can be easily scouted from the Alta Snowbird area, so you can know before you go. The cliff bands can be skirted by traversing far to skiers right, but that defeats the purpose of skiing down the line. Closing out this evening is a trip down Medusa's face. Like Russian roulette, more fun to watch than to play. This is a fine line to skip unless it's really been weighing on your mind. The angle and settings are superb, but the approach, egress, and snow conditions ruin a theoretically great line. It all depends on the snowpack, but considering the geography, good skiable conditions are rare. The underlying bed surface is a smooth, high-angle rock slab that continually sheds snow, so the snowpack is never very deep. The resulting effect is a high angle pile of unconsolidated sugar laced with rocks. Any snow that appears to be smooth is probably covering a polished rock slab that can cut loose at any time right down to the rock with little or no warning. About the only saving grace of this situation is that there are quite a few small trees that can be used as anchors if you choose to ski rope. A fall would be graphic and fatal and you're likely to end up at Brockman's Bagels if you do. This, however, is one of the twisted allures of this line. The entire Salt Lake Valley is between your tips as you start down. Thank you for joining us once again. I hope you've enjoyed our journey into these steep, twisted descents. This winter, when you find yourself staring down a steep, icy slope, wondering what the hell am I doing here? Just remember, if you fall, you can always blame it on your telegear. Good evening.